There's been a battle over the copyright to Baby Shark. AJU Business Daily reports Johnny Only, an American toddler music entertainer known for his rendition of Baby Shark, lost a legal suit against a Korean YouTube video containing the same song that went viral worldwide after a South Korean court ruled that children's songs handed down by oral tradition are not copyright. Johnny Only filed a suit seeking damage compensation in March of 2019, accusing South Korea's education and entertainment company Smart Study, which owns Baby Shark creator Pinkfong. In its ruling on July 23rd, the Seoul Central District Court refused to recognize copyright infringement, saying that Pinkfong's Baby Shark was based on a traditional sing-along chant. Technically, no one owns the song. Like all traditional songs, Baby Shark has been passed down orally through generations. The chant is typically sung without music and includes bloody details in its lyrics that detail a shark attack. Johnny Only created his version in 2011 and replaced the gory lyrics with lines including Saw a fin do 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 I swam faster do 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 Lifeguard running do 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 Saved my life do 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 Smart Studies version released in 2015 has made a phenomenal hit worldwide. The legal battle dates back to 2018 when South Korea's main right-wing opposition party used Baby Shark as an election campaign song, saying it had secured approval from only Smart Study threatened legal action over copyright infringement, insisting its content creators have recreated Baby Shark by adding upbeat rhythms and fresh melody. The court said that Only's version did not add new creative elements to the old song, citing a judgment from the Korea Copyright Commission that Only's song is not considered to have added new accompaniment to the oral song, but merely added an instrument. So I thought I could add a lot to this because this is in South Korea. This is copyright. It involves a copyright that is here in the U.S. That is the Pink Fong song on YouTube. And it involves the originality requirement for copyright, that copyright only protects what you bring to the table, what you add to the creativity, to the, to the creation. If you are taking a song that already exists, if Baby Shark already exists, Baby Shark do 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 do, went for a swim do 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 do, got ripped open by another shark do 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 do, all this blood and gore, do 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 do. As apparently, you know, some of these Grimm's fairy tales and and baby shark traditional version were gory and bloody. And 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 what you do is then you just make your own words up to an existing song. Well, under U.S. copyright law, you don't own the old song because you made up new lyrics. Maybe you own the new lyrics if they are sufficiently creative, but you don't own the old song. So if then someone else comes along and makes their own lyrics and version of that song like Pink Fong did, then you don't go back in time and suddenly have a claim on the original song. You only own what you added. So Pink Fong owns their version. Johnny only owns his version under U.S. copyright law. But Pink Fong can't sue Johnny only successfully and Johnny only can't sue Pink Fong successfully unless you can show that they actually copied the new creation, the newly protected whatever was added. So Pink Fong adds a lot of animation. They have a whole video and animation that goes with the song. I can't copy that just because it has fishes in it. Oh, well, nobody copyrights fishes because they created their version, their expression of the fishes and things in the background. Johnny only can't copy that. I can't copy that and go use it as my own. Nor can I, pr I probably can't use their recording of the song either. And under U.S. law, the recording of the song is a separate copyright from the, uh, the writing of the song, the, the words of the song. So I don't think you could go use Baby Shark the video any way you want it. What you could do is make your own version of the traditional song. Go back and find the uncopyrighted traditional song and then make your own version of that. And I think you're good. I think you probably aren't going to fall afoul of copyright in the US. Now this is not legal advice and you still could get copyright claims and strikes and things because of the way YouTube's system works. And you still could get a copyright lawsuit and have to defend yourself. I just think you have a good chance of ultimately winning, but that's not a guarantee and that's not legal advice.
So if you want to make your own version of Baby Shark and you want to publish it commercially, you could try to do that on your own or you could talk to a lawyer first and try to get an individualized legal opinion on how your version would do if you uploaded it. Because if your version matches with existing versions, YouTube might issue some kind of copyright claim or might allow the authors to issue some kind of copyright claim. And then you've got to deal with that. And I want you coming back and saying Leonard French told you you're going to be fine. You might ultimately be fine in theory with proper representation or proper reactions to these things, but you could still have problems with YouTube's copyright system. Let me know what you think of that story in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to my top supporters in August, John Steele, Evie, Spirit Bear, Benjamin Hytov, Ugly Grill, Torpedon, Good Broge, Pure Magma, Eric Tams, Tech Tech Potato, The Blood Soaked Survivors, Wyatt Calandro, King Ares, and Kyle Seifring. You can support Lawful Masses on Patreon.com slash LJ French, on Sponsus.com slash Law, through YouTube memberships, and through Floatplane subscriptions. Join me for our weekly live production stream on twitch.tv slash lawful masses on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Eastern U.S. time. I hope everyone has a great week. I love you all. Bye.